Okay. So what's the vertex? What's the vertex here? Yeah. Negative three comma four. Which way does this open? Oh my. It's either going to be left or down. Who says down? Why down? It's x is squared. So negative three comma four is here. And it is going to open down. It's x squared, so it's vertical. It's negative, so it's going to open down. So what's the axis of symmetry then? Y equals Try again. Uh-huh. Negative 3. So the axis of symmetry is always the same variable as the one that's squared. If x is squared, then it's x equals something. Once you figure out that it's x equals something, then you look at the vertex, and if it's x equals something, then it's the x coordinate of the vertex. Okay? Uh, yeah, the axis of symmetry is vertical here. Okay, now, focus, right? For the focus. Okay, so how much is A? A is negative 2, good. Now, 1 over 4A is how much? 1 over negative 8, so it's negative 1 over 8, okay? So the focus, right, is it going to be above, below, to the left, or to the right of the vertex? Below the vertex, right? Because it opens down, so it's got to be below the vertex. So that means, is the x coordinate of the vertex going to change, or the y? The y coordinate. So I say negative 3, comma, 4, and I'm just going to add to it whatever my 1 over 4a was. So plus negative 1 over 8. Do you see that? You, you keep the sign of the 1 over 4a. So in simpler terms, it's going to be minus. Wait, why, why don't you just, <coughs> why, why do you have to keep the negative 3, comma, 4? Why can't you just add the negative Because you need, a, uh, you need a coordinate. So let's, let's simplify this. This is going to be negative 3, comma, how much is that? 32 minus 1, 31 over 8. Why don't we do this with the last one? Because the last one, it was at 0, 0. It was a very, like, the, the basic case, oh, wow. right? Okay, so the focus then is here. It's 1 over 8 over. That's the focus. And now I need the directrix. So is the directrix going to be x equals or y equals something? y equals, and it's going to be the y coordinate, 4 minus negative 1 over 8. Okay? So for the first one, I did plus negative 1 over 8. Now I'm doing minus, so this means it's y equals 33 over 8. Um, that's there. And we eyeball the parabola. So, does it open up, down, right, left? Right. It opens to the right. It opens to the right. Because... <laughs> Because it's y squared. Okay, so um, what's the okay? Sh what's the vertex? Five, five, negative three. Try again. Five, negative, negative three, three. Five. Negative five, three. What did What did you say? Five, five. Negative three, comma five. Why? Oh, okay. Because it's flipped. This This number is next to the y. It's the y coordinate. So it's positive five for the y, negative three for the x. So negative 3 comma 5 is the vertex, and it's going to open to the right. So what's the axis of symmetry then? Which variable? Huh? Emma says y equals 5. Josh says x equals something. 
Remember, it's always the same variable as the one that's being squared. So it's going to be y equals 5. Okay, so here. Okay, now for the focus, how much is a? A is 1 half. 1 over 4a is equal to 1 over 4 times a half. So it's how much? 1 over 2. So for the focus, is the x or y coordinate going to change? The x coordinate is going to change because I'm going to move horizontally. So I say negative 3 plus a half, comma 5. So that's negative 5 over 2, comma half, uh, 5, which is negative 2 and a half here. The directrix, right, which one is going to change? x again, so it's going to be x equals what? Negative 3 plus or minus, first of all. Negative 3 minus a half. Negative, so x equals negative 7 over 2. And this is the focus, and it's going to look like this. Yes. Yes, but look, it takes a few seconds. Well, okay. All right. Um, so that much for graphing. Now, what you also have to do in these problems is you're given the various features or the points or the characteristics, and now you have to come up with the equation. All right. I like to do a rough sketch for myself before I get started, just so I can visually see what's happening. So here I have the vertex at 1, 3, and the focus at 1, 5. So is this a vertical or a horizontal parabola? Vertical. It's got to be vertical because it's got to contain the focus, right? So it's a vertical parabola. So it's y equals, exactly, right? So it's going to be y equals a x plus h squared x minus h squared plus k. That you should have memorized, okay? Now, I need to find a, all right? How am I going to do that? How big is that distance between the focus and the vertex? In numbers, how much is it? It's 2, right? Because 1 is at y equals 3, 1 is at y equals 5. Now, what quantity, in, in, like what expression does that represent? 1 over 4a. Remember, that's 1 over 4a. That distance is 1 over 4a. So now you have to solve for a. So I say, okay, 1 over 4a is equal to 2. Okay? So uh, 8a is equal to 1. Right? We cross multiply. And therefore, a is 1 eighth. Okay? Now let's go back to the equation. I have a. Do I have h? Do I have k? Okay, I'm set. So y equals 1 over 8 x minus 1 squared plus 3. Okay? <coughs> so let's draw the next one. The focus is at 5 and 6. Yeah. Look at you. The directrix is at x equals negative 2. So first of all, is this horizontal or vertical? 
Are you guys sure? Is it vertical? This is the directrix. Right, so is it vertical or horizontal? It's horizontal. It's got to look like this. Okay. So this is horizontal. That means what's the equation then? A. We already used X. Y minus K squared. Awesome. Okay. So this is at 5 and 6, and this one is at x equals 2 right there. Okay, so Josh was just telling us that the uh, vertex is right in between the focus and the directrix, right? So what would the, what would the uh, x coordinate be? This is at x equals negative 2. This is at x equals 5. It's the midpoint, negative 2 plus 5 over 2. So that's 3 over 2, right? Which is 1.5. So the vertex then is at 1.5 comma, or 3 over 2 comma, we prefer fractions. Yeah. The directrix doesn't even necessarily be um, like right under the, the vertex, right? Like it just seems pretty solid. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like that, that scrunched. So 3 over 2 comma, for the vertex, what's the y coordinate? 6. Six. It's, it's on the same level as the focus. Okay? So. Are we done or do we need something else? We need A. We need A. So how big is that distance? How many units? If this is at 3 over 2, which is 1.5, how big is that distance? 3.5? Yes? It's 3.5. So 1 over 4A is equal to 3.5. All right, so f cross multiplying, 4 times 3.5 is what? 2 times 3.5 is 7, so it's 14a is equal to 1. a is equal to 1 over 14. Okay, so the equation then is going to be x equals 1 over 14, y minus what? 6 squared plus 3 over 2. And that's how we do it. Okay? So this homework will be due tomorrow, which is Thursday. Okay? And tomorrow is the 9th. Okay, well, that's three-ninths. You could reduce that to one-third. 